Less than a day after an ESPN report revealed Mets general manager Jared Porter sent explicit texts to a female reporter. The team parted ways with Porter. News for us, John Chandler is out at City Field tonight with details on this. John? Well, and Adam, this whole offseason was a wave of momentum for the Mets with new ownership under Steve Cohen, and that wave was something Jared Porter's hiring was a part of. But this is far more important than baseball. The team uh, was alarmed by the alleged harassment and text messages that Porter had reportedly sent to a female reporter. It ran, it was behavior that ran counter to the culture that Steve Cohen himself says he's trying to build here with the Mets. Jared Porter was a rising baseball executive with the Chicago Cubs in 2016 when he allegedly sent harassing and explicit text messages to a female journalist. The Mets say they first learned about this, like the rest of us, from ESPN's damning report. At 7.55 Tuesday morning, owner Steve Cohen announced Porter was terminated, tweeting, there should be zero tolerance for this type of behavior. You know, he was apologetic. He was remorseful. He was, he took responsibility, etc. cetera. Um, so there wasn't really a good explanation for what happened. Um, I wouldn't have expected a good ex explanation for what happened. Mets President Sandy Alderson says Porter was apologetic, but an apology couldn't save his job. The 41-year-old, just 37 days ago, was hailed as one of baseball's bright young minds and now finds himself under investigation by Major League Baseball. He's he's toast. That's the end of his job. He's, he's all done. Got a lot of money. I'll never get a job like that again. According to the report, when Porter first met the woman, she was an international reporter unfamiliar with U.S. culture. He sent her 62 text messages, including a nude photo. She responded that his messages were offensive and getting out of line. 60 messages without a response is definitely crossing a line, and I feel like anybody can recognize that. Mets fans we spoke to praised the team for its swift decision. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They did the right thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, it just wasn't right what he did. Still, fans couldn't escape that woe are the Mets feeling. So to be a Mets fan and get kicked in the stomach, I'm used to it. It is a blow, but to the Mets, this was bigger than baseball. Those are the kinds of things that... Um, this organization, many others, find abhorrent. And Sandy Alderson says that he learned about it just Monday evening, and had he known about it at the time going through and hiring Jared Porter, he says obviously they wouldn't have gone through and hired Porter for this position, though he did admit that the Mets did not speak to any women in consulting people trying to figure out Porter's background before making this job hire just 37 days ago. As for Porter's future, Adam taking the temperature around Major League Baseball today, it is very apparent he doesn't seem to have much of a future in Major League Baseball baseball with an investigation currently underway by MLB. We're live at City Field. I'm John Chandler, News 4 New York. All right, John, thank you.